Look there! Demonic beasts! I suppose they aren't holding back. Hello! You're here! Welcome to the Forest of Death! <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. Stay focused. I will get the victory. Leave it to me. I will prevail. I'll give it my all. As you wish. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Here goes! Here we go! That's my cue. If this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. <laughs> no use. This was beneath me. Always getting seems simple.
is not an option. Witness my power. You should be honest. That was tough. I'm starting to see results. I'll 
show you a plan. Caution is needed. Oh, how cute! You're trying so hard! But now, it's time to die! This can't be right. I can fight through anything. Thank you. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too, with my own hand. I'm not setting a very good example. vermin that have long infested it.
time has finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! could only have been magic. What happened to our professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think we almost had the sword of the creator. You're lying. Our professor is alive. I know it. That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. It is hard to fathom that our professor would die in a place like this. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. You're already boasting a victory, but know this. If you did use such devious tricks to stop our professor, I swear that you will regret it. I cannot help but agree with her this once. Even if our professor is trapped in darkness, that is not the end of their story. I will not forgive such arrogance. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. charging right into an enemy's trap. Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Apologizing won't make things right. This darkness is terrifying. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... <sighs> there is no other choice. Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died, and then returned. There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so, I must relinquish all the power that I have... ...to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, 
then I shall disappear. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. <laughs> your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? Professor, it is you, right? I knew that you would always come back to us. I'd like to ask about your appearance, but for now, let's dispose of our enemies. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there. Is that I will get the victory.
This strength will serve Lady Adel. chance to grow. I'm surprised. is that. Another step. My heart is full of victory. Appreciate it.
were outmatched. I've gotta go. Steal myself. Simple enough. Yeah. I just worked harder. There's I have no time to waste on the likes of you. This is how it is. I cannot let you live. You stole the words from my mouth. You lost the moment you failed to kill the professor. Now 
like him. Well done. Behold and despair. I am terrified by you. Even though an emotion like fear has no place inside me, that means you must be eliminated. It's over. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission... somehow. It's over. Now, Professor. About your appearance. That hair... And those eyes. You remind me of someone. What happened to you? The goddess. I see. Well, I'm happy for you. Your weapon is called the Sword of the Creator, after all. It's no wonder she looks favorably upon you. Just as it was with Saint Saros, no doubt. And just how will you use this new power, Professor? For us? I see. Tell me, if the world, and your students included, were to divide and go to war with each other, what would you do? In that scenario, each side would represent both the world and your students. Who would you... Professor, have you fallen asleep? Uh, this must be a side effect of your recent changes. I can't just leave you here. I could try carrying you, but no, I had better call for Hubert. In time's flow, see glow of flames ever burning bright on the swift rivers drift broken memories alight Professor you must remain still Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. How lovely. It would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the Goddess. From the moment you took hold of the Sword of the Creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Cl 
Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you, always, always and forever. Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth, enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. 
Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Thanks for inviting me. Whoa, you got my favorite tea. Oh, wow, thanks. So delish. Yep. Thanks for the tea. I hope you'll invite me again. Thank you. It's time to start anew. than me, silly. Is that so? I thought you were something of an honor student at the School of Sorcery. Well, sure, but I wouldn't say I've got any kind of natural talent for it. I'm gonna have to try very hard to become as good of a mage as you are. What is that supposed to mean? Are you implying that I don't work hard too? If you think my skills are inherent, you are sorely mistaken. No, I wasn't saying that at all. Everyone knows how hard you work. I just meant that if I want to be as good as you, I'll have to work really incredibly hard. Hmm. And what is it you want to learn about? Oh, so you'll teach me? Thank you so much! Um, actually... Oh, I get it now. I never thought about it that way before. Look at how quickly you're picking this up. You're clearly very skilled already. Don't be silly. You're just that good of a teacher. Your way of looking at the world is so fundamentally different from mine. Do you insist on taking the conversation in that direction? Oh no, I'm sorry. I wasn't doing that. There I go, saying the wrong thing again. It's fine. Let's just drop it. A bit more self-confidence would go a long way for you, Annette. Huh? That's all I've got for you today. I need to get going now. Lots to do. Oh, I'm so sorry to take up your time. Thanks again for teaching me.
have success. True noble never fails. That's so. Uh, yes? You're going to the ritual at the Holy Tomb, right? I hear that a revelation from the Goddess is expected. What if she shows herself? Oh, I'll be so jealous! Ah, Professor! What an honor that you would come and talk to me. I'd like to learn more about you. been granted this power by the goddess herself. Truly, you must be a very special individual. Maybe Saros transformed before receiving her rep- Hmm. I haven't heard anything about that before. Maybe that part never fa- It is told that Saros had a revelation, and I wonder- Thank you very much. Hi, Professor. I've actually got plans, so let's talk. Professor? Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial capital. There is something I must do there. Thank you, my teacher. Father, forgive me for asking this of you. I know how much pain you're in, how the burden of the throne weighs heavily on you, and so... There is no need to apologize, Edelgard. You must know <laughs> that I do not have much time left in this world. The time has come. 
Thank you, Father. Now, to complete the Imperial succession, you must relinquish your crown here in the throne room. The Archbishop of the Church of Saros would normally act as witness, but my professor will fill that role instead. Adel card. From this day forward, the weight of the Empire's future shall rest upon my shoulders. All that I do will be for the benefit of the people of Fodlan. Edelgard von Hesvelg, the crown is yours. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword, and by the double-headed eagle upon your head, I hereby pronounce you the new emperor. Are you prepared to take those responsibilities as your own? In accordance with the ancient covenant, and in keeping with the Hresfeld legacy, I swear that upon this throne, I shall use my reign to lead Fodlan to a new dawn and achieve peace for all. The Imperial succession is complete. <laughs> my daughter, I regret that I could not do more for you. When you were stolen away to the kingdom, when the Prime Minister did those horrible things, I could only watch in horror. I... I understand, Father. In those dark times, your eyes and your fists were my salvation. Within your eyes, I saw true care. And upon your fists, clenched tight with indignity, I saw the blood that dripped and fell. Even as I bled, I felt that you too must also be bleeding. Your Majesty, you must not leave your sleeping chambers in your condition. Ah, Edelgard, I did not expect to find your highness here. Prime Minister, you have misspoken. I am no longer your highness, but rather your Majesty. I impossible! It is true. Edelgard is the new emperor of the Adrestian Empire. We will summon the officials <coughs> and prepare an ordinance at once. And you, Prime Minister, are dismissed. It will be some time before you are allowed to make contact with the outside world again. No! How can this be? I... <coughs> Understood. Your Majesty. Edelgard, my dear El, I leave the fate of Fodlin <coughs> in your capable hands. Father. Thank you for staying by my side, Professor. Now that I'm the Emperor, it's time to grasp my destiny. After the ceremony at the Holy Tomb, I must return to Envar. This may be the last we see of each other. We are out of time, my teacher. Everyone is waiting for us. We must go. Let's do this thing. Sorry you're stuck with me. It's finished. It's starting Not as hard as I thought. I'm getting it. Hmm? Long 
go. See, is that what happened to you? No way! Still, if that's... I'm... You don't act... Oh, wow, thanks! Oh, thanks for inviting me. Oh, wow, thanks. So delish. Huh? <laughs> huh? Everyone's so serious all the time. Boring! Wow! Ugh. If you hear anything, it's not my stomach grumbling. Just so you know. Lectures, okay? Oh, come on. This is lovely. Professor. Wow. This is lovely. Professor. Wow. Huh? <laughs> oh, definitely. for the tea. I hope you'll invite me again. I appreciate any good meal, but no I'm happy to eat alone, but... sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. Hmm, I see. Cooking is much more exciting than studying or training.
you. And a thing to worry about. Furthermore, you have overcome the death of your father, Geralt. I am proud. So very. <laughs> Once we finish the ritual at the Holy Tomb, all will be well. The glory of progress. It is you. I am sorry, but I have a lot on my mind. I would prefer to be alone right now. I still have much to learn. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes' relics. Is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? You still look human. For now, at least. voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together. Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. never learn. All of these useless letters are only creating more rubbish in the world. Professor? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. My apologies. Oh, uh, that paper. Well, I... Yes. Yes, it was. It was a letter from my father. I understand where you're coming from here. But I have no need of such things. It isn't like anything of importance was written on it. Curious? I suppose there's no harm in allowing you to read it. Go on then. My dearest daughter, Ingrid. Are you well? I trust that you are behaving yourself and refraining from causing trouble for others. Things on the home front are in order. A marriage proposal for you and the Viscount's son should be prepared soon. Although, I am quite certain there are many superior candidates at Garrig Mock Monastery. As you know, the very survival of our family is dependent upon whom you marry. You are the only one left in the family who can make things right. 
We are all counting on you. Do not lose sight of what truly matters. Yes. Perhaps you found it somewhat entertaining. I've told you that we've never been very well off financially. My noble family, House Galatea, branched off from House Daphnel in the Alliance. Shortly after, we were lucky enough to receive the support of the royal family, allowing us to attain nobility, to some extent. But the territory we watch over is poor, its harvest meager, and our noble blood too has grown thin. Neither my father nor my brothers bear a crest. I, however, do bear a crest. Because of this, my father sees me as our family's one hope for the future. A crest is highly prized among nobles. Were I to marry into a greater noble family, that financial support could soothe our woes. Thank you, Professor. Your sentiment alone is a great comfort to me. Despite my own feelings, I understand his approach to all this. It isn't that he doesn't care for me. I understand it very, very well. Which is why I... I apologize, Professor. I must be going. I wonder. Good timing, Professor. There's actually something I want to speak with you of. Will you put me in your class too? There are so many things I want to learn from you. Being in another class makes it especially challenging. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to studying under you. I will be extra diligent with my studies. Thank you for this opportunity.